Hi guys, VST here. Veras Pistek, welcome back on my channel. As I was sleeping last night, apparently Samsung were not. So guys, just want to share something. Apparently now Samsung are pushing the version 3 of the beater. So you see here, directly going to my settings and I can see with very big bright letters, a software update is available, right? Later or update, I'm gonna press the update button guys and then see here, you're gonna get directly to the screen usually accessible via settings software update, all right? So I'm just going to download it right now. It seems right now that they are pushing here the version ZTJQ, which of course includes also the security patch level from November the 1st, right? So we can call this officially the One UI 3.0 beta version 3. So I'm gonna download and install this on my phone, guys, and then I'm gonna see if they change some new things. I already have some hints on some slight changes. Again, don't expect really very big, very drastic changes. Samsung are usually doing a lot of iterations before they really reach the stability level and push the One UI update really as a public update available for a lot of their devices and you pretty much know guys the s10 series is gonna get this the s20 series is gonna get this a lot of the a series is gonna get this so one UI 30 is absolutely coming guys so if you want to get access to the beta i'm gonna show how you can do this in this video and then again we're gonna see all the new things here from the final one UI 30 guys so first thing you need to do guys if you don't have the better software go into the galaxy store right once you're into the galaxy store make sure that you look for samsung members once you have the Samsung members installed, make sure you open it. When you open this for the first time, guys, you're gonna be greeted with some banners. Now, of course, I'm part of the beta program and I already get this message directly, like, okay, one way to your beta. Look here for the banners, right? Take your finger, right, and just cycle them, and you might see here a banner saying One UI 3.0 Open Beta. Then you need, of course, to apply. Once you apply, guys, every time you're gonna go to Samsung members, you're gonna go to the One UI Beta settings. Once you're part of the beta, every time you open the Samsung members, you first are gonna get here to the One UI better screen and of course here guys there is access to better community you can provide better feedback update is half sure guys i'm gonna leave my phone here i'm gonna fast forward the video when the update is installed and we're gonna be doing like again a mini review of the one ui 30 public beta version 3 just trying to get hints of what has changed you know what has been optimized or not right maybe something is broken who knows stay tuned and make sure that you watch the whole video and by the way guys if you are enjoying video like this you might want to subscribe to my channel i'm gonna be finishing my coffee guys and i'm gonna snap the finger right now and we are going to directly go to the one right three zero so let's do it boom phone is here guys software has been updated right just having on the lock screen guys trying to see if there are any changes. What happens with click here, you get access to these widgets that were here before. Perhaps there will be something new. Today, scale, next alarm, speak spirit routine, show on always on display. You also have access here to your phone contacts and also to the camera. So I would say no new changes here. The other thing that I wanna see guys is here on the quick panel. So let's just see all the icons here, the way, you know, they kind of collapse. It's pretty much the same. There is something here, you know, guys, every time there is a red and it means there is something new. So let's just hit here. Oh, secure Wi-Fi. Okay, that is something new. Okay, let's try to put it somewhere here, guys. And, you know, I'm just going to immediately go into the secure Wi-Fi because this is apparently one of the new things that you can find in the One UI 3 Better Desk. Welcome to secure Wi-Fi. Secure Wi-Fi helps protect your personal data when you use a public or unsecured Wi-Fi networks, which is probably a good idea if there was not the quarantine, which I think it's coming for most of the countries. You'll get 250 megabytes of free Wi-Fi protection each month to keep your data safe. All right, so this is kind of interesting, guys. Apparently, it's kind of like a VPN service, probably going to Samsung servers. Okay, the, to get the most protection from secure Wi-Fi, allowing access to your location, all time is recommended. Okay, let's put it start, let's put it while using the app. My idea about this is that you get like a secure connection to some of the Samsung servers, because apparently guys, you see here that there is a protection plan, right? Okay, so now I am running my own Wi-Fi and apparently I can run this protection service on my own Wi-Fi. Let's just see guys here, what are the other plans? So apparently this is one for free and you can apparently upgrade it one month unlimited, only two euros, then 24 hours unlimited, only two euros. It's two euros, like two dollars, if you want to have this like unlimited. Now this seems to be something interesting. And again, uh, the new thing here in the quick panel is apparently that they added here a new 
toggle for the secure Wi-Fi. So one of the new things confirmed in 1.8.3.0 is the secure Wi-Fi. So besides the new icon here for the new secure Wi-Fi service, I pretty much think that the layout is the same. Right, one thing that I wanna see is really how the recent task behaves. And okay, it's pretty, let me just see guys. I have a feeling by the way, just, just see that somehow. I have a feeling that the animations are a little bit slowed down. And I'm not sure if that's a real feeling. I just see a gallery here. Oh, wow, for sure. I have a feeling that uh, the opening and also the close animation is kind of like slowed down and the whole experience is a little bit more smooth. I'm not sure what happens. Let's just go here into the display. I just want to see. Yeah, I'm still using the motion smoothness high, which is like 120 hertz. All right, let me just see something else. We have the easy mode here, which it was there before. I just wanted to see about animations, guys, because previously in One UI 2.5, we had like the reduced animations. And I think here in this, you see, we just have here like remove animation. If I remove the animation, the phone is gonna get really very snappy, but then all the fun is gone. So I'm just gonna be putting back my animations or so remove animations. All right, we can also confirm guys that apparently opening and closing apps is kind of like, yeah, a little bit slower. The animation has been slowed down. All right, probably not so bad for now. Maybe they want to go for like more stability and more smoothness. Let's see the volume rocker. Volume rock is pretty much the same. I think the weight pops up. Let me just see. Let me also test that one here in the late scale mode. So we can officially confirm that opening and closing animation on the One UI 3.0 is a little bit slowing down compared to the previous version. And probably Samsung wanted to go with a more stable experience, but I kind of like liked the faster animation. Maybe this can be tweaked via the developer settings because you can apparently also increase the transition of the animation. Let's also go here in the settings. So we have the connection. Okay, the secure Wi-Fi is a new thing. Okay, we have the notification. Let's see if something is added here to notifications. It's pretty much the same. So no big changes here, guys. Okay, let's also go on the home screen. Okay, home screen and layout. You can see the grid. Okay, it's pretty much same settings. Show up screen button on the home screen, lock home screen layout, add new apps to home screen, hide apps. Pretty much standard stuff. Okay, the lock screen. Now let's see lock screen. We have the smart lock. We have uh, the secure lock settings. Let's see on the always on display. Tap to show for 10 seconds. Show always. Let's see guys here the clock styles. Okay, same clock style. So I don't see any new clock styles. By the way, it's pretty much, pretty much the same. And if we go here to see the version of the always on display is 6096. All right, let's go back here guys. Let's see in the advanced features. Okay, we have the Samsung text, we have the link to Windows, right? We have Android Auto, which is also one of the new features from Android 11. And I pretty much think it's the same. We have also the video enhancer. Okay, yeah, video enhancer on and off. Again, standard, standard things, guys. So not really a lot of new things. Let's go here and check the battery and device care. What is this here, guys? Turn out the restart the set times, how cold affects your battery. I'm not sure if this looks redesigned, don't think so. All right, let me just see device care version is 120029, okay. It's the latest version. So if we go here to the battery, you know that they kind of changed the way the battery information is represented, which is not bad. I think this is probably new here, guys, that it kind of suggests you which app you can put to sleep. I don't think this here was there before. Yeah, I think this is pretty much new, guys. Um, then we can go to more battery settings. Okay, we have the fast charging, super fast charging, the fast wireless charging. Then here we have the enhanced processing, which is pretty much getting rid of all the handicap things on your phone, getting all the power, which is also accessible, guys, from the buttons here. So here you have a power saving mode, but you can go here and also get the enhanced mode here, like enhanced processing. So it will get you the most of your phone, okay? Going back to the settings, Right, I think we found one more new thing. Okay, we have the biometric and security, we have the privacy, privacy with all the permissions, the permission manager, I also show these guys, you can check my full review of the one year to zero here. We have the Google services. Let's go here in the advanced. If you go here to motions and gestures, you can see guys here, double tap to turn off the screen, keep screen on while viewing, lift to wake, alert when phone picked up, okay. Your phone will vibrate when you pick it up after missing a color message, that's not bad. And I'm not sure, probably that's also a new function. I'm not sure about that, we need to check, right? We have the game launcher, the video enhancer, okay, send SOS messages. Okay, we have the digital web being, 
general management software update if we go guys to software update and you can pretty much see i am running apparently the latest version security update is from the first of november so guys i don't think there are really many new things added here to the latest one ui 3 zero what i can say is that we have two main new things first is the addition of this thing called secure wi-fi i need some time to test it all right but this is apparently absolutely new and is debuted here into the one ui 3 zero. Oh, and i need to stop it i don't want to waste my 250 megabytes free protection plan and the other thing is see here like the animations the animations are like the opening animation the closing animation it really is getting slower and i don't like this probably samsung is going to address this and fix this let's see in the next beta but guys let me know what you think about this let me know if you want me specifically to test anything in the latest one year three zero beta because i know guys you bombard me with a lot of questions so i can do another follow-up video with custom specific tests requested by my viewers and friends here so guys i'm gonna catch up with you on my next video i really hope that you like this one already and if that's the case you might consider subscribing for my channel and again guys we're gonna see each other very very soon enough vst over and bye